there in internet land, you geeks, you dweebs, you weirdos. How dare you sit at home and watch me when you should be working, creating income for this country. Now give me a call. The number should be above you. Somewhere up there. If you're watching. I'm waiting. This is Michael Ray Bauer. I played Donkey Lips. I'm absolutely short. I did an evolution. Dude, where's my car? If I can't get any phone calls, then I'm not a good actor. I feel like I'm on a talk show. So today's guest will be the guy from Sling Blade. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? What are we talking about today? I killed him with a Kaiser Blade. Should have been the Sling Blade. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Nobody out there. I promoted this for two weeks. Three, two, three. Six, oh, three. Six, three, one, two. Ask me anything. Sexual, politics, religion, anything forbidden except my danger zone. Is this thing on? This is fun. I'm going to drink some water like I'm a comedian where they barely drink a glass of water before they do their next joke. We got an hour of this, people. I put, well, my roommate put quarters in the in the meter. Okay, she paid a dollar twenty-five to sit here and drink water. Na 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 na. I should call my managers and stuff. <laughs> call me up. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Everybody in New York is asleep. A lot of people need. A lot of people in New York were like, oh, man, I'm going to try to wake up. <laughs> I know, but the, why did they write me? I'm going to try to wake up. There we go. We, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first caller. Go through that whole system of the matrix and you will eventually get to me. Wait, who am I speaking with? Zoe. Chloe or Zoe? Zoe. Zoe, where are you from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. What city? Um, North Hollywood. You live in North Hollywood? So do I. Cool. We have something in common already. Mm-hmm. So, do you have anything on your mind? Anything you want to tell the world or the internet world? Not really. You just sounded lonely. I just sounded lonely? Yes. Wow. Is this our first date? <laughs> she I'm, said watching I, the, I'm watching the video right now. The video? It's kind of weird to hear my voice. Oh, so you're on the internet watching your voice. And that's why I sounded lonely, because I'm in a dark room all alone. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the movie Hostel. Pretty freaky. I just sounded lonely. Do I sound that desperate? No, not really. <laughs> Thank Just, you. you. You were complaining about how lonely you were and how you were spending money to... For the parking oh. meter, correct. Yeah. Well, you know, I just felt bad. Nobody was calling me. I was supposed to be popular, yet nobody's calling. It's pretty sad. I have a question for you. How hot are you? Hmm? How hot are you? Um... Hey, why not? Might as well make it into a phone sex line or something. What's going on here? <laughs> How tall are you? Hmm? Hmm? How tall are you? She's, she's a smurf. She's a smurf. <laughs> We're having fun. Zoe, have you ever seen the movie Killing Zoe? No, I should, though. Um, you should. It has your name. Yeah. So what part of North Hollywood do you hang around? Um, like, Toluca Lake-ish, around there. Cool, yeah, I'm up in that area too. So you have no questions? Nope. Nope, you just wanted to hear my voice? Am I that sexy? Should I take off my shirt? 
I love the way she laughs when I say take off my shirt. That proves I'm really hot. <laughs> That's funny. You like my hat? Freedom forever. Basically, it was a dollar, but, you know, I'm going to make up a whole thing saying I bought it for the country. I'm waving at you, Zoe. This is fun. No questions. I want to. I want to have your views on religion and everything. This, what are you? Um. What do you study? Hmm? Do you study any religion? Not really. Nope. So you study no religion. Nope. But do you claim anything? Nope. Okay. So cool. We should hang out. We don't. We don't have Jesus in our life. Both of us. So that way we got more free time. So bad. My roommate's doing makeup over here, trying to look hot. Yet she won't go on camera. Explain that to me. Oh, that's right. She's not there. She told me earlier she's not there. Zoe, give me something, girl. You can go to my website if you like browsing the internet. I guess. MichaelRayBauer.com. If you could write that down, it's probably hard to write Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-R-A-Y-B-O-W-E-R dot -E com. And have fun. So now how does this work? Do I hang up for other callers or you do? Yeah. I'm going to have to get going if you ain't got no questions. we got a couple yeah, callers. sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. you got my website now. You can, you can hit me up on the DL. That's my Don Phillips. That's down low. Down low. We can do that R. Kelly thing. You can hit me on the down low. Nobody has to know. Is that okay with you, Zoe? Um, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny, sweetie. I know. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go if you want to call back, if you, you know, feel like rubbing me the right way. <laughs> you can call me back. Okay. Bye, Zoe. Bye. Mr. Bauer, you're either Mr. Pink, Mr. Blue. I always thought that Mr. Pink was the best one. So then you're Mr. Pink today. Sounds good. How you doing, Mr. Pink? Quite well. What's uh, what's going on over there? Um, I'm sitting in a room talking to a girl named Zoe, who sounded really hot. I saw that. I can't believe she hadn't seen Killing Zoe. That's a fantastic film. Yeah, well, you know, she was in North Hollywood, so... She was a little busy turning me on. Yeah, I saw that. That was great. <laughs> but yet she wouldn't give me her number. No, and uh, she laughed when you asked, offered to take your shirt off. You well, you know, everybody laughed. That's that's what they did to me and do it away to my car when I offered to take off my shirt. Yeah. You know, they, they laugh at me. Those bastards. Those bastards. So I'm feeling festive today. Any questions for me? Anything you want to discuss? Or are you just lonely too like Zoe or me or... Curious what you've been working on lately. What I've been working on, um, it's a big movie actually. I'm so proud to be in this movie. Um, a lot of people are already waiting in line for this movie and we haven't even filmed it. It's called right. Unemployment. That sounds good. I might join them. It's a big movie called Unemployment. Oh no. Yeah, man, a lot of people in line, you know. People are getting audited just to watch this movie. It's freaking amazing. Just kidding. No, um, being an actor, I'm sure, hopefully you know the ins and outs. You're always auditioning and looking for more work. And, um, I did a, a Hallmark movie with Paris Hilton. Did a Well, she was kind of the star, but I did like a medium cameo. It won't be on until the, the end of July. 
I just did an EA Sports campaign. We did like three John Madden commercials. So I get to play Madden and act funny and silly and take my shirt off with a girl named Zoe from North Hollywood. Okay. Right. That's going to be a hit. It will be a hit. Um, other than that, I have a movie coming out on July 4th. Everybody go get it. I'm going to turn on the mic to tell everybody. It's called Marilyn Hotchkiss Ballroom, Marilyn Hotchkiss Ballroom Dancing in Charm School. It comes out July 4th. Brilliant movie. Problem is, didn't do very well in theaters, but I recommend it. You will cry. If you have a girlfriend, she will make love to you. After this film, it is one of those movies that will get you play. So I'm going to promote it as Marilyn Hotchkiss getting laid after you watch the movie and charm school. It's a great movie. It's actually really, really good. So go get it. July 4th, Amazon.com or DVD rental stores everywhere. Cool. Um, is there any plans for a DVD set of the Sweet Shorts? Nah, that's the question on everybody's mind. Is there going to be a DVD release of our show? Well, we're going to have to break down the doors of Nickelodeon and find out. Nickelodeon Studios had plans to release it this quarter, which means this year. Right. They were going to actually start showing the show again this um, summer. That would be great. And then they were going to release it right around the beginning or middle of summer, but something contractual stopped them. Hmm. It always blew my mind that uh, Clarissa was out on DVD, but not fully a short, which was many times better in my book. Yeah, well, you know, they banked, they put it on bankability of stars, and, and then how long the show ran. We only ran two years in general, and then Clarissa was like four or five. Well, not Drake and Josh. I hate those guys. Um, what are the two other? Pete and Peter. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. think I think they ran for four years. So I think they're going like that. Eventually, Nickelodeon will figure out their market, and then they'll have every DVD out. Come to their senses. And then all of a sudden, it'll come out. So we'll see. But you know, it doesn't hurt to write Nickelodeon an email. Just go to any contact list and do a spam mail where it sends like five million of them or something. I know you guys got some hackers out there. Okay. All right, dude. Right. So, Mr. Pink, anything else? No, I think I'll uh, let you go and answer some other calls. Awesome, dude. And go to my website, michaelraybauer.com. I'll be there. Awesome. Thank you, partner. Thanks. Later, Mr. Pink. <laughs> Oh, between calls. Gotcha. The microphone's on again. I got this down to a science. Hello, you're on with Donkey Lips. Well, hello. I finally got through. Wow. Who is this? This is Lori. Lori. I'm from Indiana. You're from Indiana? Yeah. Go Hoosiers. <laughs> yeah. That's wow. awesome. You finally got through? How long have you been on? Oh. Only a few minutes. I watched your first phone call when you promptly scared that young child. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you calling me a pervert? <laughs> she sounded 13, and you're offering to take off your clothes on a live You know what? Podcast. You're totally right, and that's probably why I get no press, because I have no clue what I'm doing. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, you're probably right. She probably was young. But she wouldn't give me her age or any information, so how do I know? She pressed one, though, so you're not obligated to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Why, apparently number one is over 18 or something like yeah. that? Ah, yeah. It's okay. You know what? She, she, it's a good thing she got scared. She couldn't handle the big DL. Yep. Yeah. Wow, talking to a real-life celebrity thanks to the Internet. <sighs> I'm a D-lister. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> it happens. So how are you doing, Miss Indiana? I'm waving at you. Oh, I wish I could watch. Phone's across the room. I can't even see if you're making faces at me. Oh, so you can't see this? <laughs> <laughs> nope, no idea. <laughs> you can't see that? <laughs> that is uh -oh. so bad. I did the middle finger. <laughs> oh, I thought it would be funny as heck. <laughs> oh, see. you got to get a phone. It's called cordless. It happened yeah, a few years I back. Know. I'm old school. Yeah, old yeah. school or... Old little... school kicking it with a corded phone. So you're kicking it with grandma. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> phone. Grandma's hot. Grandma's got the cord. Well, look at this. You can't see it, but we got no. one with a cord. Hello. Hello. It's a prop phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't see it. I picked up a phone with a cord on it. It was, it was really amazing. It was mm -hmm. like the Matrix 4. Yep. 
So you practically ask the entire Internet audience to call you and ask you very personal questions. I don't mind. That's what we're here for. Politics? You, everybody can get the regular stuff about the show or stuff on the Internet, you know? Yeah. Let's, let's delve into some stuff. They're going to use this tape when I run for president. Yeah. Great. Gonna, that'll be great. They're going to make fun of me. They're going to you know, bring it back up on all those shows on Daily Central. Well, Comedy you know Central. what it is to run for president these days. Yeah. All kinds of scandal. That's why I'm, I'm already flirting with 13-year-old girls, because, you know, <laughs> I'm working my way into politics. Yes, just get her a blue dress and a cigar, and you've made the history book. Cool. It'll be Zoe Lewinsky. Mm. She's Sounds actually good. under the desk right now. You can't see her, but I'm, <laughs> I'm getting huffered and puffered. Yep. It's great. Any, well, any big questions? Uh, well, Mr. Hollywood, so do you theorize that you've been abducted by aliens like the rest of the Scientology freaks in California? Um, you know what, I honestly believe I was abducted by aliens when I was younger. <laughs> I am yeah. not lying to you. I really think something's wrong with me. I see. I actually, I actually think something happened to me and I'm really afraid of aliens. Uh -huh. And yes, I have experimented with getting to know Scientology and, <laughs> and at the end of the day, um, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. You know, anything John Travolta, Travolta tries to turn into a cult is okay with me, but a little scary. Yeah, well, John Travolta needed work. So <laughs> he did that, and then the next thing he got was Pulp Fiction, so. You yeah. know, when you're running around in itchy polyester doing disco, yeah, that's the height of it. But did you see his package? <laughs> Wow, if you could run around with a big package like that in disco pants. That's really. probably why he took the role. He'll make him a star. Well, you know what, then I need to get into Scientology. <laughs> you hear me, Mr. John Travolta? Well, look what it's done for Tom Cruise. Now, what did it do for him? It got Everybody thinks he's crazy, and that's okay with today's generation. He's crazy because he saw his checkbook. He's like, oh my God, how much did they take out? Oh, I got married <laughs> Katie. She's in Batman. Uh -huh. I'm going to marry me some Katie Holmes. She's starring in <laughs> Batman. Yes. That's all right. Katie just wanted a baby. She wanted her belly fat. I could have got her fat with food, but you know. Well, and pregnant. And then she'd be happy because apparently that's what it comes to, so. Yes. You know what's really sad? What? I found about this. I found out about this website on MySpace. Okay. I put it on MySpace. Maybe not through me. No, just some random group. Cool. I'm like, oh, well, hell, it's 11 o'clock out there. I'll just call. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing my, my yellow shirt to go with my camp team. Uh-huh. And I got so a weird How many people do you think are going to call and harass you about the show? One, if I stay on the phone with you. <laughs> um, I don't know. We, we, we are into our third call. We're going we're gonna to do this marathon. There you go. I'm in my 28th hour. I need, bit, really? I need a little bit of crystal meth. Keep me going. Are you seriously going to do it for that long? That would be great. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm leaving <laughs> in like an hour. Uh, well, thank you for calling. Well, Go to my website. Look at me. I'm such a promoting whore. <laughs> MichaelRayBauer.com. Oh, I see. I'm oh, sorry. I'm a promoting whore. Well, you do what you got to do. Yes, I'm hoping Tom will call me today from MySpace. He's been my number one friend since the beginning. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. He was there Talk for me. publicity. Tom is famous as it gets at this point. Yeah, he was there for me when I started out of nowhere. I was really lonely. <laughs> I signed up, and there he is with his big smiling thumb. Excellent. So. Well, don't scare any more 13-year-olds. No, I'll, I'll go for the 12. <laughs> That's bad press. All right, kid. You can't see it, but I'm blowing you. Everybody out there, kiss. <laughs> Have fun. Peace. Bye. Yes. Now we're back to the religious hour. But today's guest will be Scientology is Tom Cruise. Let's pick up Tom right now. He's on the phone. How you doing there, Tom? Hi, Mike. Yes. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? I'm going on this show. I know, I'm watching you. Oh, you are. How are you doing? What's your name? Gypsy. Gypsy. Awesome. Do you do gypsy-esque things? Not anymore. Not anymore? Why not? I'm too old now. You're not too old to be a gypsy. Isn't the whole coin phrase in movies? Look at that old gypsy. 
It's not too attractive anymore. I didn't know gypsies were supposed to be attractive. I thought they freaked people out. No, they're beautiful women. What are you talking about? I haven't been around gypsies. I've only been around Scientologists and Jesus freaks. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of confused. You just said you were missing Jesus in your life. Ah, I didn't say I'm missing him. He's not in your life, he said. Yes, I'm not very religious. Neither am I at all. Mm, is that a good thing? Should we like, we should join a membership called like the non-Jesus, non-Scientologist. Mm, I don't know, I'm still searching for the higher power. The only higher power I know is the government. They got a bill in front of my porch and if I don't exactly. pay it, they get shut the off. Illuminati. Yes. Oh, exactly. So, how old are you? Tell me some, I'm old. <laughs> you can't be as old as me. If I reveal my age, will you reveal yours? Of course. I am 28. I'm 39. You're 39? I yeah, I beat you. You didn't beat me. I you're, told you I'm old. You're like me, baby. You age and it tastes great. Yeah, I'm aging like wine. That was, <laughs> everybody in the room looked at me like, you're disgusting. I'm just hungry. I wanted some lamb, some veal, some gypsy. <laughs> Tell me some dirty joke. <laughs> Tell you a dirty joke. Um, why isn't the water clean? Why isn't water clean? Yes. I have no idea. Because it's dirty. There's your dirty joke. <laughs> no, that's lame. <laughs> I want something perverted. You want something perverted? Look at this. A 39-year-old gypsy wants something perverted. Wow, get naked. That's pretty perverted. I am halfway there already. Oh no, she's halfway I'm home, there. So. You're at home? Yes. And you're half naked. Well, I have a tank top with my panties on. It's summer. <laughs> you sound like you're a Brooklyn gypsy. I am. <laughs> you know, oh my awesome. God, is it that obvious? That bad? Heck yeah, whenever I answer a question and I get yelled at, they're definitely from New York or Brooklyn. That's bad. What's your name, Michael? You're freaking Michael. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta learn an accent, pick up another accent or something. That's awesome. No. Any I kids? Didn't. No kids. No kids? Pet. Pet. Oh, so you're the gypsy cat lady. No, no cats. I got two cats and two dogs. That's not. Oh, okay. So you got, well, you're all in the family, four or four. Do you have any animals? I have two animals. Um, it's a brother and a dad. <laughs> They're freaking both crazy. Oh, yeah, I got a hamster. I do the Richard D. Gear thing once in a while. Uh-huh. Mine died. Your hamster died? Yeah, they don't live long. Did you forget to feed them like me? <laughs> no, but if you're using it like Richard Gibb, they're not going to live at all. Yeah, I put peanut butter up my anus and then yeah. I stick hamsters in my you-know-who. Why no wool? So where's your roommate? Is she hot? Is she hot? I don't know. My roommate um, is sitting over here and she's not there. She said, uh, I'm not here. She did the whole Latin like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I want to they're talking them. about you. They want to see you. I got women that want to see you. Show if you're hot. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Tell it, tell it a stretch. You're fine. Lay you down. <laughs> she said it's about me. This is the Michael Bauer Power Hour. Well, so, I know. I called you, but she's your roommate, part of you. I got too much hair. Look at that. I'm That's a freak show. You got too much what? <laughs> I gotta cut my hair. I need to learn of a guy named I Barbara. I see you keep playing with it. I, I feel very uncomfortable because I got on a hip hop weird hat. Today. It is long. So I feel you like a trucker. A, you definitely need a trim. So we're gonna we're gonna go because we've got a couple of the callers. Is there anything okay, specific that you want to throw in there? No, I'm glad to hear that you have calls. You very too, good. and take care of your animals, and don't think that you're too old for anything. Will do. I'm telling you, meat is better with age. <laughs> yeah, rock. All right, girl. Be good. All right. Have a good day. You too. Gypsies are attracted to me. That's so freaking awesome. Can she do some of that? Ooh, dee da ba da da. Lay you down the fire. We're now back at the Scientology Hour. Please welcome our guest, Mr. Invisible. How you doing, there, Mr. Invisible?
Wow, that was an interesting story. I hope you all got that. That was amazing. <laughs> really? Wow. That was great. Mr. Invisible, y'all. Thank you. So now we're here in our 90th hour. I have a trucker hat on because I am like Britney Spears. I am trailer trash. I do admit it. I'm Kevin Federline's fat brother. I'm Popa's out too. Word. Yo, 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 we back up here in Hollywood. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, I had three callers in a row. I had a Gypsy, Zoe, and then a Mr. Pink. Let's see how crazy we can get by the end of this hour, or hour and a half. I'm looking at, you know what I want to call me? I want James Lipton to call me, so we can talk about my career. Oh, the mic's not on, huh? The mic is on, thank goodness, I'm smart. It kind of looks like a penis in my mouth, it's sort of, it's sort of weird. <laughs> I don't like penises in my mouth. I like hot dogs. Not covered in barbecue sauce. The number is 323-603-6312. www.ringmybell.tv Come on, people. Ring my bell. You know what, I should just pause and not move and people will think there's something wrong with their screen. It'd be really cool. Let me like do a weird motion and think. <laughs> so cool. You know somebody was like, what happened? Um, are you guys all ported? Anybody got phones out there? I, I, that lady, the gypsy, if you want to call back, we can get into some freaky freaky. Okay, there is going to be a DVD of Salute Your Shorts available. A lot of people were asking about it. Um, I might put it on the internet. It'll be a, a DVD rip so the government can find me. That is so sad. Now, as you pour the water into the spear, you get the circumference. <laughs> oh, God, we're silly. There's a guy right here in front of me to the right. You can't see him, but he's half naked on an apple. We always knew Steve Jobs liked it like that. He's pressing buttons. I have no clue what he's doing. He's probably in the chat room talking about how stupid this guy is on Ring My Bell. He's asking people from Brooklyn to bring bats, guns, so we could ring his bell. Hey, everybody, let me show you a picture of me when I had short hair. This is pretty cool. You see that? If you see that area right there, that's called double chin. It's an actual photographic technique of eating. You have to eat for months before you get that, and it's very special. It gets you a lot of work. I got the, the Jack Black look going right there. Can you can you just imagine me as Jack Black? Let's try it. Come on, people! I'm the man! Sorry, it didn't work. My roommate thinks my eyebrows should be longer. Oh, that's right. She don't want me to talk about him. <laughs> so... If you, if you internet hacked, want to zoom in, that's my resume. It's got my address on it. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, but it does have my phone number on it, so I got to cover that. <laughs> Shoot. Um, I'm bored. Seriously. It's really, it's like, I should have brought my hamster. Okay, should we play with balloon animals? You guys want to play with balloon animals? Um... Hold on, let me talk to the technical director. Dude, I'm seriously freaked out here. I feel like I'm in that movie hostel. I am not kidding you. I swear, if I hear a chainsaw, I'm ripping people apart. 
I started out in a room in Hollywood near a basement. Ooh. And now I'm going to end up in a dungeon in England. All right, all you hot women out there, give me a call. 323-603-6312. Numbers are over there if I'm, if I'm doing my internet savvy thing because their website keeps changing every day. Somewhere down here, there's a picture of a big redhead with a circle around it. Then there's some Latin chick that likes to talk madness about getting her hair done. It's pretty crazy. Um, we're all characters in this internet world. Okay, I'm just going to start. Okay, I was born in the summer of February 1975. Yeah, have my roommate call me. My roommate's going to call me so you guys could all hear her voice. 603-6312. She's going to be on a cell phone, so if it goes dead, blame technology. That's her. Ladies and gentlemen, she's going to call me because I'm bored. Nice penis. Nice. Nice. Shit, I ain't home. I don't know who Monica's calling. I have no clue. Monica's tripping. Hold on. Since it's my roommate, I'm gonna... What's up? Hey, Mike. Um, so you can't get yelled at because on the phone, when you call, it says you have to be over 18. I think we heard that already. Oh. Well, I thought the lady was yelling at you because you were talking to Zoe, and she's like, what if she's 14? Okay, first time, introduce yourself, shit. Oh, um, <laughs> You're talking like we're together and nobody's around. Oh, well, it's kind of weird. I'm standing right in front of you. So, uh, my name is Monica, and I live with Mike. I'm from San Diego. Enough about me. So, Mike, is there anything you want to tell the audience? about the show, about yourself, anything you really want them to know? Because no one's asking you questions. No. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite kind of food? Pushy. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, you asked an honest answer. I'm just kidding, it's, it's probably tuna. <laughs> is there... <laughs> is, is there a connection there? Sorry. Um, Um, who is your favorite band? Um, MP3? I don't band. I, like? I don't visit anybody. What I, kind of music do you like? Um, WMVs, MP3s. Oh my God. If you were to be deserted on the island and you couldn't bring any damn MP3, you would have to bring one CD, what CD would it be? What's a CD? <laughs> I'd bring my iPod. What are you talking about? If you couldn't bring an iPod and you only could bring a CD player... Now you CD see how our relationship as that is at my house. Like a married couple. We can't stand each other. It's brilliant. It's great. Yeah, people always try to live with. You see, I asked him for a CD for an iPod. Mm-hmm. Idiot. I am an idiot. And, I and um, just so you know, Richard, you had a gerbil, not a hamster. Get it right. Well, if you look closely, my hands can look like a gerbil. Shut up. My favorite band, I, I think it'd be either U2 or Pearl Jam. See, there we go. Why can't you be a nice guy like that all the time? Because I have to mess with you first. Mm -hmm. It's called courtesy. Um, what's your favorite movie? Matrix. Mm -hmm. What do you look for in a girl? All those ladies out there wanting to know. I know you like them kind of... Not She's trying to say I like fat chicks. No, you're trying to say that. I like Chunky Monkey, that's all I'm going to say. And people, I don't judge you. What the heck are we talking about? I don't know, I'm just asking you questions. How about we ask you some damn questions? I'm this getting... This is not the Monica Hour. This is people are here, they don't even know who Monica is. Everybody, you want to know? Monica thinks hey. she's... Monica thinks she's... Okay, oh, now, now, now she's yeah, hanging up. Now she don't like, she can't take the pressure. She because it's about you. She puts the grill in front of my house, but then I want to start cooking, and then she gets mad. Okay, I'm hanging up. Bye.
Thank you. Apparently, I'm so popular, I can't get three calls in an hour. I have to get calls from my roommate, who's next to me. People, for the love of God, call 323-603-6312. Let's save the children. We got to save the children. We got to get some money here. You see, these children in Africa, they got nothing but chains around their neck. They need some food in their mouth. You know, they got $100,000 earrings, but yet they can't afford a bag of rice. What's going on? People, ring my bell. Please, ring my bell TV. I bet you the, the other redheads had a lot more callers. That was fun. My roommate's pissed at me. I'm going to get beat up by the end of this. I'm getting dirty looks right now. She wasted five minutes on her cell phone. And she has Sprint. Oh, shit, watch out. That's nine million dollar bill. Dude, you're pushing buttons, dude. Are you doing something? <laughs> Seriously. He won't answer me. He's like a freaking soldier in the Matrix Army. You smell of stench. Jesus, Jesus, nothing. Nothing from this guy. Apparently he got laid. That's why he don't care. Okay, I have 20,000 subscribers to my website, yet I can't get three phone calls. But yet you all beg me for my number on MySpace. All right, all right. I'm going to do that pose thing again. We all think it's not working. Hey, I feel like I'm in the corner room. What are those porno things where you, you're talking to the girl and she goes in the private room? Hi, you want a private? Yeah, hold on. We'll put you in the private right now. <laughs> and there's a little thing that says right there, like, busy. I've been to a lot of porno rooms. Domino's, we deliver. Hello? Domino's, we deliver. I'm just kidding. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? I call Domino's. I don't like pizza. I think I've got a bad connection. Oh, man. Who is this? This is Allison McCann. Allison in the can or Allison McCann? Allison McCann. Uh, Allison the can? Are you literally a can? No, Nick can. Nick like, can? Like Nick Cannon? Yeah. But you're the, the funnier one. Correct. Correct, gotcha. Yeah. How are you? I'm friend. You're Tasha's friend. Yeah. Tasha, is that MySpace yeah. Tasha? Yeah. Okay, I, I know who you're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tasha. She's a big fan of mine. She's very nice to me on MySpace. And this is her friend. Say hi. Hi. Tasha's their home in. Well, I'll tell her to say hi or all you guys. I don't know. Get on the line. Are we on cell phones? Yes, I am. I have very bad connection. Tasha told me to call, and so... Why, she couldn't call? No, yeah, she's there, I think. Tasha, the, Tasha works at the show. Oh, Tasha at Ring My Bell? Yeah. See, I'm thinking Tasha from MySpace, another friend of mine. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-huh. See, so you got me all confused. I'm sitting here, you know, thinking it's somebody else. Okay, Tasha works here. Yeah. Okay. I go to school with her. Cool. So will I meet her today? What? Will I meet her today? I don't think I've met her. Oh, really? Yes. I've met Moy, the, um, the Matrix guy in front of me. I won't say his name on it. It starts with an S. Steve-O, Rama, MTV okay. News. What? I don't know. Leave me alone. Look at that. Any questions? Um, let's see. How did you wind up here? I mean, I admired you on Salute Your Shorts, but... Wow, that sounded really weird. How did you <laughs> wind up here? I admired you on Salute Your Shorts. So apparently this is the ghetto of the dumbest, of the weakest, of the little room that looks like the room in the hostel. If you turn on the light, turn off the lights, I will probably get cut up to pieces. 
How did I end up here? Um, um, no girlfriend. Mm. No money. Bummer. No life. Oh. No license plate. No. Um, I don't know. I'm, I like it here. I think it's cool. Why not? You know, give people an opportunity to call you up and talk about anything that's on their mind. Freaky, non-freaky, suicidal. Oh, you know what? I should be a teen hotline. What do you think about cats? Cats, the play? The animal, not the, no, no, that's awful. I think cats just lick themselves and shit in your room and stink it up. Nah. That's cats what I think. Cats are fearless. Cats are fearless? No, they're, they're the illest. Illest. Are we talking yeah. in terms of the hip-hop terms? Because ill is good in hip-hop, but in I the know. Caucasian world, ill is sick. They're so we're, we're, we're doing the whole hip-hop backwards right. thing? Okay. Um... I know I look hip-hop today, so I'm like, I'm ill. I'm chilling, I'm willing, I'm dealing, I'm illing. Hold on, let me do my porno pose again. Hmm? Hello, are you still there? Oh, crap. My connection is going away. I'm here, I'm here. How are you doing? Are you there? Yeah. I was doing my porno pose. You'll see it if you were watching the internet. It might be funny for like one time only, but I did it twelve times. I'm like well, Robin. Uh, I'm like Robin Williams. I take a joke and I exploit it forever. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. It is. Cats. I don't like cats. I used to have them. My cat was a whore. Seriously, have you ever seen a cat whore? I've seen a valley whore, but you know, a cat whore. It's ridiculous. You come home, you got to a cat gangbang. You had four. You got four alley cats, and then the Persian kitty in the middle. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I had a. I had a. I had a Siamese kitten, beautiful, gorgeous. But I would leave the window open, so she could run in and out and do whatever she's gonna do. And then I came home one day to four alley cats, and I opened the door. And right when I opened the door, you see four alley cats. Go <laughs> Like, I invaded their privacy, yet they're in my freaking room. So, you know what I did? I got pissed off. It's my room. I said, get out. Get out of the freaking alley, cats. And they all start running out the window. And then, then little Ginger is my Siamese cat's name. She looks at me and she goes, yeah, you too, you fucking whore. You whore cat. So then she starts running out the window, and then she gives me that, that, that look like, did you mean me? Heck yeah, I met you, you little whore, alley cat, woman, Siamese thing. So then later that night, I'm sleeping, and what does she do? Trying to do the little cat thing like all women do and try to please you at the end of the night. Get on your belly and then... I'm like, it wasn't me, I'm not a whore. You know what I did? I slapped her. There, there's my story about cats. Did you hang up? She hung up. No? Bye. Hello? I'm weird. Y'all in internet land know that. She hung up with me. The minute I started talking about, about cats, she said, screw that fat guy. I love me some cats. I am the crazy cat lady. That was cool, though, Tasha's friend. I'm probably disrespecting everybody here at Ring My Bell. I will never be invited back. They should have had a buffet table for me, knowing a fat guy is coming. Steve, where's my buffet table? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I didn't even get freaking parking money for the meter. Or a huge production. <coughs> but it's fun. Dude, I would make money off of this all day. It's going to be like TomGreen.com. Oh, I can't promote other people. RingMyBell.tv. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, number is 323-603-6312. All right. We'll be back. <laughs> come on, come on, dude. Put the... That'd be so freaking funny. You know what? Can you call out? You could call out too.
I should call out. That'd be pretty awesome. I'm gonna start making some crank calls in a little bit. Yeah, Mr. Bush. It's unbelievable. We're waiting for it to ring. Press no now. This is fun. Hello. Michael. How is it, Brett? Hey, Brett. How you doing? I'm I'm alone in a room. It's pretty, pretty sweet, dude. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice. Hey, I heard that you were in a movie with Michael Jackson. Yeah. I know, what where, this, I know where this is going. Yes, my childhood has been fucked up ever since. <laughs> what are we, where are we going to take this, man? I'm fat for a reason. He played with my pee pee. Nah, nah, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was in a movie with Michael Jackson. I never met the guy. I only met his monkey bubbles. He was a secluded person. I was in a movie. Oh, that's almost as good. Yeah, he, he, but his monkey wasn't molesting us at that age. Yeah, okay. I wonder why they called his monkey bubbles. Do you ever think about that? Did Michael Jackson put bubbles in monkeys? Oh, I'm going to leave a bubble in you, monkey. He could have put something in bubbles. I don't care. I think Michael Jackson is fantastic, whether he's a psycho or not. I think in, in this world, if you're an entertainer or a singer, you have to be a little bit weird or psychotic to put up with the crap we put up with. That's true. So I think everybody's weird, but, you know. So why didn't you get to meet him? Was he just being secretive, or he didn't want uh You, you want to know why I didn't meet Michael Jackson? He does not meet little fat boys. <laughs> he likes little skinny boys. You know, uh, the little fat boys. He puts us in his little Neverland ranch, and he gives us popcorn and chips. You know, he fattens us up for his other friends, you know, his secret society that he has called the Moonwalkers. I mean, I'm sure he has a secret society of people in England and, you know what they're called? I forgot their name. They're not the Moonwalkers. They're called the Vatican. That's what they are. It's the Vatican. It's a bunch of guys that they act like priests and they touch little boys, dude. They're all in the Michael Jackson Society. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sure you heard of the Vatican. <laughs> You're uncovering some pretty important things here. Oh, yeah, I'm doing, I'm the conspiracy man, man. I'm very psychotic at home. I watch a lot of movies, so I can't think for myself. I think about what they showed me, and that's it. So then I, I don't know if I, I believe anything. I'm the conspiracy guy. <laughs> so, you know, you got a conspiracy for me? Do I have a conspiracy? Yeah, let's lay it on the line, man. We're on Ring My Bell. We got five viewers. It's freaking awesome. Oh, God. This will um, reach worldwide nations, gypsies in Brooklyn. It'll reach Zoe's in North Hollywood. <laughs> oh, God, that's true. <laughs> uh, this is fun. Any conspiracies? Any conspiracies? I, I only hear about, you know, 9-11 uh, conspiracies. Cool. What was I doing at 9-11? Um, sleeping. What's that? I was sleeping. Were you? No, not really. Actually, you want to hear the funny part? I was actually close to there. But you were that, what? I was close to, to the, the trade centers, actually, on that day. People, sort of weird living in L.A., but I was actually down there. I was doing something. <laughs> well, so you could, did everything, like, shut down, you can get out of there? And... Yeah. I don't know. That's a depressing subject. Yeah, I know. That's something that, you know, you know that's pretty sad. But we, we, we could talk about landing on the moon. There's your conspiracy. Oh, yeah. When did you do that? Uh, I landed on the moon in the early 60s. Nice. Nice. I, I took a pill, and they told me, dude, take this. You'll land on the moon. So I yeah, I've just it. been reading about that conspiracy, actually, about them doing it on a set and all that. Yeah, on a Hollywood set. I actually, come on, think about this. Do you believe we landed on the moon? Or why haven't we went back? I know it was expensive then, and it cost a lot of money, you know, you know, the 60s or whatever, but if we did it once, you know America does everything over and over again, and they'll take all the oil, they'll keep looking for oil, but yet we won't go to the moon more than once. Yeah, but it was also boring on the moon. There was nothing there. We were there for, what was it, an hour? 
Yeah, yeah that's true. Come on, America, maybe, America would build miniatures, little army bases on the freaking moon. If they're going to do it in Iraq, they'd do it on the moon. We would have satellites going up there every three hours and shit, building a new McDonald's or fucking Starbucks. <laughs> How come we haven't went back? I don't think we ever went. <laughs> that, that could be. Either that or they went and they saw fucking Tom Cruise and the Scientologist there that day and they freaked out. So they never went back because they're aliens. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I am not going to get a job in Hollywood. <laughs> i got to hang out with the Jews. <laughs> I am offending um, everybody. It is so awesome. How has this been, you sitting here taking phone calls? Um, it's very unique. Yeah, it's, I bet. It's, it's very weird. It's sort of like me playing a video game at home alone, but with people on the phone. You know how nice, this man. is how I would look with a bag of Cheetos butt naked in front of my PlayStation 2, except online with a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Nice, man. It was nice talking to you. You too, partner. Call all your friends and tell them to call because I'm I'm going to love the phone calls. <laughs> okay. Anyways, there, there must be some waiting now, though, right? We'll find out when we hang up. If not, I'm going to be talking to myself for an hour, maybe play with my nipples or something. Nice, man. That'd be good. All right, partners. You take care. Wait a second. I'm a media whore. MichaelRayBauer.com. Nice. Nice. All right, partner. Be good. Yeah, thanks, man. You got it. Yeah. We've reached our final two minutes. So, hi. We have a guest here today. His name is Mark Schwetti. And he bought us his sweaty balls. Mr. Sweaty, oh, your balls taste really good in my mouth. Wow, there's nothing like a sweaty ball in my mouth. Thank you. I'm doing my Saturday Night Live character. We have two minutes, people. The clock is ticking. It's like the season finale of 24th. These two minutes will be put into five hours. Oh my God, the bomb's gonna blow if you don't call. We need a caller within two minutes. Oh my God, a minute and 28 now, shit. Call, call or else I'm, they're gonna kill this ham. This fat guy's gonna be turned into ham. Three, two, three, six, zero, three, six, three, one, two. Let's see if you can get in before. The last caller will get my picture and resume, and it will be autographed. I'm not kidding you. Anybody? Love ya. Are you going to freeze frame it when it ends? Are you, really? Dude, freeze frame it, and I'm going to do a fucking crazy pose or something. That will be freaking awesome. Oh my god, can we beat it? How long do we have? Okay, and then you cut it off or should I, should I just let it go? We got a minute, talk quick. It's Gypsy, I want your picture. You want my picture? It's the Brooklyn Gypsy. You want my picture? Yeah, you have to sign it for me. Though. I, I will, I, I promise you I will. I'm yeah. leaving Steven and I'll get it from him. Leave it to Steven? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say you can go to my website and email me and I would definitely... Oh, I, just, I was just on there. Great song. Thank you. I thank you so much for calling. I know I was a little rude to everybody, but hey, it was fun. I don't no, mean anything funny. personally. It was funny. I'm sure, you're the funny I'm sure you're the greatest person in the world. I am. Thank but you. you were funny. I enjoyed you today. Th thank you, sweetie. And when I come to Brooklyn, you're going to take me around town and you're going to read my palms or something. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I need to find out my future. And thank you so much. I think we're going to go off now. Okay. Good. Steven sends his love. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. And Steven hopefully will freeze frame. Are you going to freeze frame? <laughs>